I was able to turn this budget laptop into an amazing gaming laptop just from doing a few simple steps. Okay, so basically, if you guys look at my old videos, this one is two years ago, December 19, 2020. That was like a few months after I bought this laptop. So I've ran no tweaks on it, and we were getting around 50 to 80 FPS in game. That's not bad without any tweaks, but once I show you guys the tweaks that I've used, it actually boosted my FPS almost double. And then in creative, I almost tripled my FPS. So the first thing is in your Epic's game launcher, I didn't even notice for almost like a year before someone told me, but basically in your options, just make sure to have high resolution textures off. I actually had this on for almost a year, like I said, and just by having this off, it actually improved my performance by a lot. Now the next thing is from registry tweaks. A lot of these tweaks that are on my discord server, I've used. You guys can also get these tweaks in my Discord server, which will be linked in the description. But the ones posted over here, I used all of these in the beginning, and it helped me a lot. Like high power Fortnite, disabling Xbox services, disabling unnecessary services in the background. And I also used this specific game user settings over here. I've actually changed it now, so you guys can find the updated one I use over here. So the next thing is the first FPS pack that I released. Basically, this was in September 2nd, 2021. That was when I first used the FPS pack and got over 400 FPS. So what you want to do is just open it with WinRAR and obviously make sure to set up a restore point. Create, name it whatever you want, and it should be creating a restore point. Now over here in Rec OS Power Plan, make sure to import this power plant and use it this power plant actually helped me a lot more than the high fps power plant i made click yes click ok click on windows optimizations down here under ultimate windows tweaker you just want to run that since it just tweaks up your whole windows pc now another thing that i still use is razor cortex you guys can just search up razor cortex on google and download the first link basically why i love this application is because there's a game booster and there's also a system boost so first off with a system booster you guys can just scan your whole windows for any temporary files or any junk files and it just cleans it out so go ahead and click on scan should take some time and it's scanning your whole windows pc over here it tells you what they found so 1.94 gigabytes of disk space and some files that it's going to delete for you so just press on clean and it's showing you guys all the stuff that they are cleaning and there you go click on done just like that super easy that's why i love this application and the next thing is game booster press on boost and it's just releasing memory from processes and services and you guys can restore it back if you guys want now under booster prime in fortnite press on optimize now basically you can just optimize fortnite for more fps and it also tells you the predicted fps you guys can get so there's the quality side and then there's the performance side so if you want full quality your fps goes down but obviously your quality goes better but full performance your fps goes up and then you can just press on optimize now the last thing i use which is kind of risky if you don't really know what values to put in but is msi afterburner basically you just want a core clock and memory clock what i use and if you also have the acer nitro 5 2020 edition i put in 175 on core clock 225 on memory clock and then just like that make sure to do this every time before you start up fortnite and just like that that's all the stuff i did to get my budget laptop into a better laptop so like in a basic creative map we're getting around 390 sometimes 400 building still 300 around there and these tweaks also help with your delay so like you will get less delay it literally feels amazing so yeah super easy tweaks to run and you can get better fps just like that